Hello everyone, this is Nine Victor One Hotel Yankee from Singapore. Uh, today I'm going to share a good news to everybody uh, because I have finally made my first QSO via Q100 satellite. And this QSO is also the first QSO from Singapore via Q100. So it's a great achievement for me and for all uh, Navy hams. So today I would like to share about uh, this QSO and also share about the story happened on that day. So the first QSO was made on 20th January 2020. Uh, it was a Monday and uh, on that day I received my parabolic antenna. Uh, it's not a full antenna because it doesn't have a feed, so it's only the reflector. Uh, I live in my school dormitory, so my room is quite small and the dish is quite big. It's 1.2 meter in diameter. So I actually had a lot of difficulties moving the dish into my room and like try to open the box, try to assemble it. So it wasted a lot of strength. Uh, after, after that, I finally assembled it. And uh, in the evening, after all my class had ended, I tried to operate. Uh, I did not have full confidence to have a QSO on that night because I need to move everything there and uh, assemble everything, receive, transmit, and uh, receive my own signal again. So after all these tests successful, I have I can make a QSO. So I have about 30% confidence of making a QSO that night. Uh, first, I move everything to the location I want to operate. It is actually very difficult for me because the parabolic antenna itself is 20 kg plus and uh, plus everything else is almost 30 kg. So I move everything there, I almost half that. And uh, after that, I try to assemble. I spent one and a half hour assemble the dish only because it's the first time I deal with a dish and also I'm not sure how to uh, how to tune the angle, how to tune the feed. So I spend I waste a lot of time there, but I think in the future operations it the time may be reduced a lot. So after I assemble everything and I connect all the wires with the ground station, I tried to receive the signal. The signal received actually is uh, very nice. Uh, the first receive only with bare LNB, the signal noise level is about, the signal to noise ratio is about 5 to 7 dB. So this time the CW beacon actually shows more than 10 dB signal to noise ratio. The noise floor is about minus 80 dB and the CW beacon is at about minus 55, uh, sorry, minus 65 to minus 63 dB. So it's actually very clear. And also I'm able to receive most SSB voice station. I'm able to listen, receive all the sentences they say. So it's a successful receive. And uh, in that clip you just saw, uh, the frequency drift is quite serious. But with the PSK beacon lock function in SDR console, I am able to reduce the drifting problem. Actually, the drift problem disappeared after I lock the frequency. So after that, I try to transmit. Uh, the transmit signal, uh, I am not able to quite receive on my own because the signal is too, was too weak. But on web SDR, I can read and I can listen to my own signal. So that shows the signal actually the uplink is quite okay. After all these are confirmed, I move to actual QSO. So the first QSO was made with BG0AUB, uh, the person who support, supplied me with the amplifier and patch antenna. So he actually waited for me to do all this test and also give me some feedback for my uplink signal. So we had a very nice chat and uh, in Chinese. So it was, I think it's considered quite rare on QO100 transponder. And uh, after QSO with him, uh, confirmed the, the first successful two-way QSO from Singapore, I move on to call CQ. So I have been warned by other stations that I will experience a huge pile up that I never experienced before. They are absolutely correct because I used to deal with HF contest pile up. That was fine. 
but this one is nothing like that. Uh, this time I called split up five time from the first time I call CQ. This strategy works quite fine for the first few QSO, but after a few QSO, the pile up become very huge. And also because this is a satellite uh, transponder, so people tend to have a slightly different in transmitting frequency. So makes the SSB pile up hard to identify. So after a few QSO, I decided to call up five to 10. So I spread out all this pile up. This makes the pile up easier. Uh, so I'm able to receive and change frequency uh, when I do deal with different stations. Uh, they are huge pile ups. I I think these huge pile ups should last for quite a few time. At least for the first few time I go out to operate, I will experience this kind of pile up. And uh, I operated for one hour exactly, and have to go QRT because. Uh, start to rain in Singapore. So I don't want my equipment get any damage because I'm operating at a place without any shelter. So the rain actually dropped to my paper log, to my laptop, to amplifier. So I, I'm very scared I break anything. So I immediately go QRT and move everything back. Uh, so in that one hour, I made 30 QSO with 16 different DXCC entities. It was very good, mostly from Europe, but also I managed to have stations from Africa and South America. So it is wonderful experience for me and also for the entire journey of prepare the station, prepare all the equipment and until I get my first QSO, it is a very incredible journey. And uh, for my vlog, I thank everyone who watched this vlog and also try to keep track on what I am doing. I thank everyone for their support and I hope to work with everybody on Q100 or on HF or by any other method. So maybe one day we will have eyeball QSO, who knows. So yeah, this is uh, the end of this video. Before I end this video, I'm going to show you a video clip of the recording on the actual, on my actual QSO. I record this on the 20th January. Well, after I made my first QSO and uh, while I was dealing with pile up. So please enjoy. And lastly, thank you for your support. And in the future, I will post more interesting video about ham radio and I will hope you to support and enjoy videos. Uh, I will see you next time. 73, bye bye. QSL, QSL, India Kilo 1, India Yankee Uniform, 9, Victor 1, Hotel Yankee, you are 5 and 9. Name is True, Charlie Hotel Uniform, and uh, location is Oscar Juliet 1, 1, Victor Hotel. Back to you. Roger, Roger. India Yankee One, India Yang, uh, India Kilo One, India Yankee Uniform. Thank you very much. You're my first contact with Italy, and uh, hope to see you again. Seventy-three from Nine Victor One Hotel Yankee. Ciao. Uh, seven QRZ Nine Victor One Hotel Yankee. Listening up five to ten. Uh, station is station with Victor Victor again. Uh, Sugar Victor Nice, Florida Papa Papa, you are five and nine. Uh, name is True, Charlie Hotel Uniform, and uh, location is Oscar Juliet One One Victor Hotel. Back to you.
Okay, Roger, Roger, correct call sign. Uh, Sugar Papa Knife, Florida Victor Victor. Uh, you are five and nine, name is Chu. Uh, Oscar Juliet 11 Victor Hotel. Uh, thank you for the contact. And uh, uh, 73. Uh, sorry, 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 your, your call sign. Sugar Victor Knife. Again? Uh, sugar Papa Knife, Florida Papa Papa, correct? Okay, Roger, Roger, 73. QRZ, QRZ. Uh, Papa Alpha 3 again. Uh, Papa Alpha 3, Foxtrot Yankee Mexico. You are 5 and 9. Name is Chu, Charlie Hotel Uniform. And uh, uh, location is Oscar Juliet 11, Victor Hotel. Back to you. Roger, Roger. Thank you for the contact. Papa Alpha 3, Foxtrot, Yankee Mike, 9 Victor 1, Hotel Yankee 73, QRZ, 9 Victor 1, Hotel Yankee.